Oh, I almost forgot my intro. This is what happens when you're on hour oh my gosh. seven. Y'all, we've been here for a hot minute. Okay. Oh, no, it's, it's it's actually hot. No, it's actually like it's the actually temperature very wise, hot in here. Hot. humans and welcome back to my channel. I'm in a little bit of a different location today because I am on set, on scene. I'm at the offices of Amari Production here with Dave McQueen, owner, president. What's your title? Oh. I should have figured that out. Oh. Well, it's technically CEO. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Something that's pretty cool about Dave and I is we've actually known each other for 15 years. Yeah? 16? Yeah, it might be more like 16 or 17, but I don't want to... And the fact that we can even use those terms out loud is just like a really hard pill for me to swallow. Yeah. We've known each other since my freshman year of high school. Because mm -hmm. um, you were the same grade as my sister, my yep. older sister. Um, and we have remained close over the years. In fact, I was like your best woman. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I gave a speech at his wedding. I just realized I've just like barreled through this whole thing and haven't let you speak at all. No, no. This, okay, it's cool. your it's your thing. Yeah, no, no. You, okay. I'll wait till I'm prompted. Okay. I also interrupted you a ton of the beginning. Yeah, so you did. I so you deserve tone. to sit there and think yeah, about what yeah, you did. Yeah. In this week's video, we want to talk about three questions that you might not have considered asking your videographer. But as we were discussing them, I realized there is so much power in these questions and so many like layers, like onions from Shrek or ogres or whatever. That was rough. Yeah. That was like watching a, cr a plane just I'm crash. I'm also really hungry right now. So you said onions and I was like, I could just eat a bite of an onion right now. And you're the pickiest eater alive. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> okay. Great. It's my own fault. It my is. Own fault. It is. Oh wow. Okay. I didn't think you would. Okay. No. I thought you would say like. <laughs> no. 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 We've known each other for a long time. Yes. Yeah, we're fighting on we're camera. We're fighting on camera. The people love the drama. <laughs> Basically, without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. And that's when I do like this. Yeah. Do I was just gonna do that. And then like a photo comes on, and you give like the photo credit. dive into the, the three questions that we found mm -hmm. we were really need to talk about. Why video? Yeah. Like, because so many people kind of consider it as an extra or yeah. an add-on. Yeah. Why do you find power in wedding videography? Like, what is the element that makes it different from photography? Yeah, mm -hmm. the shortest kind of synopsis. The images will, will represent mm -hmm. the emotions, the scenes, um, b because they're, by their very nature, they're, they're still images. They're snapshots yeah. of a scene, of a moment, of an emotion, of a feeling. Video will show you that scene. Hmm. Photo will show you your, when you're walking down the aisle, will show you that beautiful shot of your groom tearing up, of you walking down the aisle. Video is going to show your groom bouncing on the balls of his feet. Mm. It's gonna show him yeah. peeking over the, the guest to see you as you're coming to turn the corner, and then it's gonna show you that literal instant hmm. where he makes eye contact with you, where you don't even need to see you, where you are in space, like you're yeah. just watching his reaction, and just on his face, you see when he sees you. It adds an extra layer to the message that's being delivered. It adds value, and I think yeah. we should be very clear on that. One of the things we talked about was, how does a videographer move throughout the day? Yes. Because, what I've heard as one of the biggest blockades for why people don't want to hire a videography mm -hmm. team, beyond budget, because, you know, budget's a thing. Yes. But one of the main reasons that I see couples kind of really not wanting to is they're worried about how obtrusive yeah. a videography team yeah. is going to be. Because I, I, we worked at a wedding once where um, the videographer was, like, spinning around in circles really close to the person they were shooting. Yes. And it was, it was so cringy to watch because it impacted the guest yeah. experience yeah. and it impacted the couple's experience. <clears throat> I'm sure it was a great shot. Yes. But that leads me to think like, I wonder if people know to ask this question. Yeah. How do videographers move throughout the day? So that the reason that's a great question to ask, specifically um, instead of what is your style or like what is your approach? Because I feel like today it is very popular, it's very popular to say my style is very natural or candid or raw, but instead ask how do you move throughout the day or how do you film and then like literally you can walk through each scene of the day. How do you move throughout getting ready? How do you move throughout the ceremony? How do you move throughout the reception events? Our, our style is, and I'll say all those words because we've always been about that, it's very candid, very, very, um, very natural, 
Um, our, literally in our slogan is, is raw and real. But what does that mean? When we have you guys away from the guests, you know, during getting ready, during couples portraits, in those times we are gonna be like this close with you. So we don't wanna be, um, you know, awkwardly standing in the corner with a camera. We want to make sure that we are keeping you guys. A little weird. Yeah, keeping you guys relaxed, comfortable. So whatever it is you need in that moment. But, and this I think is the big key, once you guys get in front of your guests, once mm -hmm. you're like on stage and all attention is on you, then for us, we will literally change out all of our lenses, all of our equipment so that we can be filming telephotos, so that we can be filming from the periphery on the sides of the aisle in the so back. Those, those are all big words, but you like literally remove yourself. You're yes. not in the ceremony. Yes. So it's not like you're filming like this. Yes. You're now 30 feet away. So when we say, or when anybody says, candid, natural, raw, whatever, what that should mean mm -hmm. is during the ceremony, they don't have a tripod in the aisle. They're not sitting at the foot of the aisle. They're not behind the altar. They're not walking in front of your parents. Yeah. And then the example that I'll use on our calls is during first dance. We're filming first dance just off the edge of the dance floor so that we can get all those sh beautiful shots you see in our samples, yeah. but without distracting your guests. Mm -hmm. And then I'll even use that example. I'll be like, you know, we don't want to be like that videographer that's spinning around you on the dance floor. And then like nine calls out of 10, the couple will jump in right there and be like, oh my God, I was at a wedding and I yep. saw that. Yep. And I'll be like, I know you did. And I know that's part of why you're like unsure if you should hire video in the first place. Because I think, I think what you have here is like you've understood the value of it's not just the end product of what the clients receive, but it's also the guest experience, the family experience, and the client experience. Yes. Your day is not a film set. Mm, yeah. So we want to create and help facilitate a space where you can be fully present throughout the day, not just you, your family, your bridal party, your guests, and not turn your day into a film set. Like, wrap it all up with that, right? It's not just can you make beautiful sample films. Can you make beautiful films? Yep. Can you do it in a way where your actual memory of the day is as, like, perfect and as beautiful Wow. and as un- intruded upon. Sure. We'll, we're going to land that one one more time. That your memory of the day is of the day and not of your videographer's camera lens. Yeah. Question number two. I forgot. Ding, 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 oh. ding, ding, ding. Okay, so another thing that we had kind of touched on was really asking how does your filming approach differ from highlight to a full feature film? And yeah. before we kind of dive into that, what is the difference between highlight and full feature. Yeah. Like obviously there's a cost difference. Yeah, that, that's a great point because yeah. for different companies, a uh, feature length or a full length film is gonna look different, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be anything as short as like 15 minutes up to 30 to 45 minutes. And that's the feature. That's the feature. Okay. Highlight film is generally gonna run four to six minutes. You can find ones a little bit shorter, a little bit longer. The 20 to 30 minute film, that's gonna be the keepsake. That's gonna be the film that you'll watch on anniversaries. That's the film your parents are gonna watch. That's the film you're gonna sit down with your kids. Whereas your highlight film, mm -hmm. that's the one that you're going to share with family and friends, post online. That's the one you'll watch any time you think of your wedding. Just yep. pull it up on your phone at the, at the office while you're making dinner, whatever. But yeah, your 20 to 30 minute film, sit down, invest, really relive and re-envelop yourself yeah. in the day. So where we started out with, with that question was mm -hmm. more of, um, uh, you know, if I want to come back later and order a longer film or if mm -hmm. I want the ceremony edits, like, do you film for that? And in that question, you're like, you're leading your videographer into the answer. So of course they're going to say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the better way to ask that question is to ask, how does your approach differ from a highlight to a feature film? Because in a highlight film, again, this is what you're watching to make this decision on who you're booking generally yeah. is only highlight films. Mm -hmm. In a highlight film, you can film for a highlight film and create a great five minute video, but not actually document the day. Hmm. Because you can move through the day as a photographer would and get a bunch of short snippets that you can piece together to create yeah. a cool highlight, but then you as the couple go back later and want to watch your vows and your vows aren't there. There's snippets of your vows there, but they're not there in whole. Yeah, so they've, they've taken the approach of creativity versus documentary. Right, so that's a big thing that we'll talk about with our couples is everything you watch on our website is like almost... 90% the creative angle, mm -hmm. but much more important long-term is that documentarian angle, even if it doesn't show up in the initial film. That is the 
long-term investment that you're making? The, the answer to that question should be super brief and it should be, oh, the same. We film the same. We always film as if you're getting everything. We always fully document your ceremony. We always fully document your toasts mm -hmm. so that uh, you have that footage or so that we can do a longer edit at any time. If you feel hazy on that, the follow-up is, do you film the ceremony in its entirety? Yeah. Um, and they may say like, oh, we can, or we can film it creatively or something, you know, just watch, watch for the answer yeah. on that question because that is of anything you will ask, of anything that's happening behind the scenes, like that is the most, to me, the most imperative. Because I, at least for us, I can't imagine somebody coming back to us five years after their wedding and being like, hey, we just sat down to watch our ceremony. Where is it? And then being like, oh, you ordered the highlight film, which doesn't have an edit of the ceremony, so we didn't film it. Yeah, and so like an, an added layer to that is feel free to keep asking secondary questions. Oh, like yeah, yeah. Follow-up questions of, Okay, so there is a difference in how you film that, which I think perfectly segues into the very last point that we yes. have. Yes. The very last question is all about raw footage. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about raw footage. Yeah. Should couples expect it? Mm -hmm. Why should they get it? Yeah. The simple question to ask, and it should have a simple answer, is do I get my raw footage? And the answer is yes. If the answer is anything but yes, then you need to follow up on that. It costs us nothing to give you raw footage, um, especially if you just send us a hard drive, or in today's day and age, we'll just upload it to the cloud and you can download it. Yeah. We're seeing a trend these days of raw footage being uh, an upsell, mm. or I've seen it where it's, it's just not offered Period. So basically, it sounds like if they're filming the day, no matter what the, the end result would be, no matter what the product is, mm -hmm. you should be getting the same raw footage. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't cost them anything extra to give you raw footage. Yeah, it doesn't cost you anything extra to get it. And and I can tell you just from our data, 60% of people, maybe somewhere around that range, are booking a highlight film package, which means other than the raw footage, like the only creative edit we're making is a highlight film. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting a highlight film package and that's all you're getting, Let's just tear the band-aid off right now. This is actually not something we covered earlier. If you're gonna pay several thousand dollars for a five minute video, Mm -hmm. Like, one of the main tenets of this channel is how do we work with a budget? Mm -hmm. Like, that to me is preposterous. Mm -hmm. So, I, I see here exactly where you're coming from. And I can say, like, we got a highlight video actually mm -hmm. from. <laughs> if you, you guys always ask about our video. They're the ones who did it. If you guys want to see a little snippet of what our wedding video looked like, you're going to be uploading it onto your channel, yeah? It'll so be there. I will go ahead and link it for you guys. Um, but stay until the very end because this, this is very muy importante. <laughs> That is um, the face of regret. It is. I have our raw footage and we have pulled it out and watched yeah. the best man speech at our wedding. Yeah, here's a here's a practical example of why you want your raw footage. So even if you're getting everything a videographer offers, you're getting this, the highlight film, you're getting their longer film, whatever length that is for them, you're getting edits of your ceremony and toast. Here's still a very practical example of why you want your raw footage. Going through your open dancing footage. At the bare minimum, yes. we're filming there for 20, 30, up to, you know, two hours mm -hmm. of all your family and friends just being total dorks yeah. on the dance floor. And if you don't have that raw footage, do you know how much blackmail you're missing out on? Yeah, seriously. Like the power you could have at Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah. Unparalleled. 20 years from now, yep. when you pull up your raw footage, mm -hmm. Being able to go through cocktail hour or the, all the guest reaction clips from mm -hmm. your ceremony and your toast or all the open dancing clips, that's where you're going to get to see, oh my gosh, that was so and so, that was so and so. Even in the longest film, the feature film, yeah. that all that footage is not making it in there. No. So basically it feels like what we're saying is raw footage is such a great key component here mm -hmm. because while you're hiring a videography team to do your highlight reel and put together that video for you, what you may not realize is 20 years down the road, you're going to be pulling open that raw footage mm -hmm. and watching cocktail hour footage. Yeah. So the three questions that we want you guys to walk away with, yes. basically, from this is, how do you move throughout the day? Because basically we want to make sure that you're not obnoxious, you're not in my way, you're not going to be bothering guests. And nobody's going to remember that you're there. Yep, yep. We, wa we want you to be like a I ghost. I really hope you don't remember me. Yeah. <laughs>
You're not very memorable, no. so it's fine. And how do you film for a highlight video versus a feature length film? Because the answer to that will be give you a huge indication of what your section number three raw footage will look like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And making sure that your videographer is not strictly a creative, mm -hmm. but is also documenting your day. Because yes, the creative footage is 90% of what you're gonna watch, but it's the documentary footage mm -hmm. that is going to last the rest of your life. The surface level of hiring a video Videographer is this great wonderful edited video whether it be five minutes or 25 minutes mm -hmm. but the long-term effects of hiring a videographer is the stuff that no one thinks about until they're 20 years down the road where mm -hmm. they think oh that person was at her wedding let's pull up the footage mm -hmm. or like what we did with my husband's best friend recently we pulled up his his speech mm -hmm. and we played it and we laughed so hard we cried and it's that extra almost added benefit that people don't quite realize yeah. that is gonna be something that you carry with you for the next 20, 30, 50 years. Mm -hmm. What's the 50 years at platinum? I don't know. Gold? Mm -hmm. Gold? Platinum? Some. Okay, well, never mind. I'm going to say something like, for your platinum anniversary or whatever. Yeah, don't do gonna, that. Nope, not going to do it. You can't even nail the reference. Once again, we have been working on this video as well as the video we filmed for my channel for... My watch won't turn on. <laughs> things are dying. Like, things are dying. This plant is dying in real time. It's is it fake? No, it's real. Okay. So that's all we have for this week, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by. What are you doing? With oh, me? sorry, sorry. So that's all we have for today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just <laughs> want to end the video. So that's all we have for today, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video with Dave, be sure to check out the one that we did over on his channel mm -hmm. where we like deep dive into timelines. Mm. The things that we cover when it comes to timelines in this video are things that I have never touched on yeah. on this channel. And it's stuff that like is make or break for your wedding day. I do have, in fact, I'm kind of jealous that we did that video for your channel, but whatever, it's fine. So Dave, tell the good people where they can find you. Yeah, you can find us at amariproductions.com or at, on Instagram at amariproductions or on YouTube, I believe, at Amari Productions. I'm still new to this. I don't yep. remember what I made her channel name. Um, so Dave has actually launched a channel that is a wedding videography focus with tips and tricks coming from a wedding videographer's perspective. And he's brand new and his channel needs some loving. So get on over there, subscribe, and, uh, and he'll be putting out videos hopefully every week. I don't know, he's new, we'll find out. Also, if you wanna check out our highlight video, I will post that. Yep, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it for you guys. If you haven't done so already, like this video if you like the video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks for the modern day bride. And until next week, bye guys. Have fun. Do you feel like there was? Yeah, we're done. We're done. That camera. Wait, how did we just high five that into flashing? <laughs> Do it again. We have a really dynamic friendship. Oh my god. Mhm. Mm I need a nap.